Yo, what's going on everyone, Y5K, welcome to a new FIFA 23 tutorial, yes, it's finally here, and if you are looking for the best skill moves to use on FIFA 23, then welcome. On this video, I'm going to show you the top 8 most effective skill moves to use in game. For each skill move, I'm going to show you how to do it, when to do it, and the most important thing, how to get the best out of these skill moves. Now on this video, firstly, I will show you the top 5 most effective skill moves to use on FIFA 23, and then I'm going to show you 3 skill moves that are really easy and useful in game. With that being said, let's jump straight into the video. First, the skill move we are looking at is a brand new skill mode that arrived on FIFA 23 by the name of Heal to Ball Roll, and my goodness, you can't believe how good this skill move is in game. It requires a player that has got at least 4 star skill moves, and if you want to do it in game, it's really easy as well. If you are on PlayStation, all you have to do, hold the L1 button and then perform the Heal to Heal skill move, which is by flicking your right stick forward and then flick it again backward. So basically hold the L1 button and then flick your right stick the same direction that your player is moving to and then flick it again the opposite direction that your player is moving to. And if you couldn't do it, watch the controller point of view so you can see exactly how I am doing it. If you are on Xbox, all you have to do hold the LB button and then flick your right stick forward and then flick it again backwards. Now for the heal to ball roll, it's an absolutely out gorgeous overboard skill move to use in game. I don't know why EA made it this overboard. And this skill move you can use it in many and many ways, if you wanna go around the goalkeeper it will 100% work and it's absolutely great for one on one situations. For the second skill move we have got everyone's favorite, Elastico and Reverse Elastico. It has been overboard since day 1 and now on FIFA 23 it's effective and overboard as always. And of course as we all know it requires a player that has got 5 star skill moves, yes sadly you can only do it with a 5 star skiller. And if you want to perform it in game, it's really simple. If you ask me, all you have to do, you have to move your right stick half a circle, not the same direction that your player is moving to, no, the opposite direction. So basically, if you are moving with your player to the left, all you have to do, move your right stick from 6 o'clock to 3 o'clock, and you're gonna see your player performing the elastic skill move. And again, keep an eye on the controller point of view. Now, if you want to get the best out of it, in my opinion, use it with the tactical stop, which is by holding L1, it will make your player fully stopped and then perform the elastic skill move. Or you can do it with a fake shot stop, do a fake shot and make your player fully stopped and then perform the Elastico or the first Elastico. Not only that about the Elastico, it's actually 100% the best skill move inside the box. That's because your player gonna keep the ball really close to him and you have a big chance to score a goal after performing an Elastico. Moving on into a skill move that we haven't heard about in a long time but now on FIFA 23 it's better than ever, yes, La Quareta is back on FIFA 23 and I will tell you why in a second. Of course it's a skill move that requires a player that has got at least 4 star skill moves. And if you wanna perform the La Quareta in game, if you are on a playstation, hold the L1 button and then move your right stick to the right of your player or the left of your player. Basically, it depends on where do you want your player to move. If you are on Xbox, hold the LB button and then move your right stick to the right of your player or the left of your player. Now, the reason why the La Quareta are really effective in game, that's because after you perform the La Quareta, your player is gonna keep the ball really close to him and he won't lose the ball. Trust me, try it in game and you will know what I'm talking about. I don't know if that's normal or EA gonna fix that later, but for now it's probably one of the best skill moves to use. If you wanna get the best out of it, it's absolutely great for one on one situation, especially if you wanna cut inside the box. Moving on into a skill move that requires a player that has got only 2 star skill moves by the name of the body fend. What a big upgrade for the body fend from FIFA 22 to FIFA 23, and there's a reason why. Now like I said it requires a player that has got only 2 star skill moves so basically you can do it with any player on your team and if you wanna do it it's one of the easiest ones that I have got on this video all you have to do flick your right stick to the right of your player or the left of your player and if you wanna get the best out of it in my opinion move your right stick to the right of your player and then move it again to the left of your player and then move your player with the left stick to a new direction now the main reason why it's on this video and effective in my opinion, that's because after your player performed the body fend, if you press the R2 button or the run button, your player will get a base post and you're gonna see him running like Prime Terry Henry. Other than that, it's a great skill move to change directions, cut inside the box and the most important thing on a one on one situation. Moving on into one of the best skill moves that was on FIFA 22 and on FIFA 23 it's as good as it was, yes I'm talking about the rainbow flick. 
I really annoying skill move if you ask me. I really hate it if I'm being honest. When the player is performing the rainbow flick, you can't do anything. You can't take the ball off him at all. It requires a player that has got only three star skill moves. If you want to perform it in game, you have to flick your right stick backward and then flick it again forward. Which does mean you have to flick your right stick the opposite direction that your player is moving to and then flick it again the same direction that your player is moving to. If you want to get the best out of the rainbow flick, use it when you are on the edge of the box and you are trying to go inside the box because when your player is performing the rainbow flick, no one can stop him at all. That's because it's an unexpected skill move, you're gonna see the defenders stop and watch your player go. And a quick tip, use it with a player that has got really good agility and balance in game, that would be much better and he will perform it way better than a player that has got only 3 star skill moves and average agility and balance in game. Now this was the best skill moves to use on FIFA 23, now let's move on into some easy skill moves that will improve your game 100%. Starting off with a 2 star skill move, really easy, really simple, really effective in game, yes I'm talking about the ball roll, a skill move that we see in every match on FIFA. And of course as we all know about the ball roll, it requires a player that has got at least 2 star skill moves, so basically you can do it with every player. If you haven't used the ball roll before, that does mean that you are a new FIFA player, welcome to FIFA 23. And if you want to perform it, you have to flick your right stick to the right or the left of your player, basically it depends on where do you want to move your player. It's one of the best, if not the best, simple and easy skill moves that EA ever created. It's absolutely great for one-on-one -on -one situations, it's great if you want to create more space for your winger, and you can use it even as a first touch. Basically, the ball roll is the most important skill move that you should be using in-game. You can use it not only when you have a defender facing you, you can also use it on the middle of the pitch with your midfielder to give him more vision to pass the ball. Moving on into a 4 star skill mode that you might not use in every match but trust me the bell button is really important to learn and it can win you some matches. Now it requires a player that has got 4 star skill moves and you can also do it with a player who only got 3 star skill moves but if you want to do it with a player who has got 3 star skill moves he will do it slowly in a bad way if I'm being honest. So if you want to do it you should have a player that has got 4 star skill moves or 5 star skill moves. If you want to perform it on PlayStation or Xbox, all you have to do flick your right stick forward and then flick it again to the right of the player or the left of the player, it depends on where do you want your player to spin. So let's say you are moving with your player to the right, what you have to do, you have to flick your right stick to the right and then flick it down. It's an absolutely great skill move to change direction, especially with the winger. If you are going wild with the winger and you want to cut inside the box, use the bear button and you will go there. It might not be the most important skill move, but trust me, there's times that you will 100% need it. And for the last one, I'm not really sure if I should call it a skill move, we have got the Agi dribbling, which is really good this year, especially because the players are too heavy. A player with only one star skill move can perform the Agi dribbling, but I recommend using a player that has got at least three star skill moves, and if he has great agility in game, that would be absolutely great. If you are on a PlayStation and you want to use the Agile Dribbling, all you have to do hold the R1 button. As long as you hold the R1 button, you're gonna see your player Agile Dribbling. If you are on Xbox, hold the RP button. It's a great skill move if you want to keep the ball as long as you want with you, especially if you have a player that has got great agility in game. Agile Dribbling with great agility in game is absolutely perfect. With that being said ladies and gentlemen, this is all the skill moves that I have got for you today. I hope you enjoyed the video, don't forget to subscribe and like and tell me in the comments below if you have any questions about any of these skill moves. I will see you all in the next video. Peace.